In today's fiercely competitive automotive industry, legacy manufacturers face mounting pressure from emerging competitors, while software is overtaking hardware in shaping the driving experience. Meanwhile, tariffs and tax credits impact profitability, and industry experts wrestle with understanding consumer desires. In this chaotic environment, the 2025 Volvo EX90 stands out as a calm, capable, and secure option. Yet this luxury electric SUV epitomizes the rapid pace of change in today's automotive landscape. Electric Volvo, the next chapter. Volvo was one of the first major automakers to commit to a fully electric future. While the company remains dedicated to this vision, it acknowledges that hybrids and plug-in hybrids will remain part of the lineup longer than initially planned to satisfy market demands. Until now, Volvo's electric vehicles were adapted from internal combustion engine, IC, models, resulting in similar designs and some limitations. For example, the C40 and XC40 recharge models struggled with performance dynamics, range, and charging capabilities during motor trends testing. The EX90 marks a turning point as Volvo's first purpose-built electric vehicle. Unlike previous models built on the versatile SBA platform, which supported both combustion and electric vehicles, the EX90 is based on the new SBA2 platform, specifically designed for EVs. This platform also underpins the Polestar 3, though the compact EX30 is built on a different architecture created by Volvo's parent company, Geely. Manufactured at Volvo's Ridgeville, South Carolina, facility, the 2025 EX90 comes equipped with a 111 kilowatt hour battery, powering a dual motor all-wheel drive system. The standard version delivers 402 horsepower and 568 lbft of torque, achieving an estimated 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 5.7 seconds. For those seeking more power, the EX90 performance model boosts output to 510 horsepower and 671 lbft, slashing the 0 to 60 miles per hour time to around 4.7 seconds, which we experienced firsthand during our test drive. Interestingly, both versions of the EX90 achieved the same range rating of 308 miles likely because the performance model only unleashes its full power when in performance mode. Since the hardware is nearly identical between the two versions, it's the software that unlocks the additional performance. Both models support fast charging at up to 250 kilowatts, which is relatively quick by today's standards, allowing the battery to go from 10% to 80% in about 30 minutes under ideal conditions. Modern Sustainable Scandinavian Design Volvo's design approach for the EX90's exterior is more evolutionary than revolutionary. It closely resembles the XC90 three-row SUV, which will be refreshed with hybrid powertrains for 2025. The grille-free front fascia and signature Thor's hammer headlights with pixelated accents, designed to slide open and reveal the main projectors, are standout features. The roof-mounted LiDAR pod is subtle but essential for the vehicle's future autonomous capabilities. The real design brilliance, however, shines inside. The EX90's cabin showcases meticulous attention to detail, with backlit trim panels, textured metal speaker grates, a 3D printed accent, and unique stitching patterns creating an elegant and cohesive atmosphere. Configurable with second-row captain's chairs or a three-passenger bench, it offers seating for six or seven. The interior is predominantly upholstered with synthetic materials, including Nordico, a premium imitation leather, and an optional fabric made from a blend of sheep's wool and recycled polyester. While Volvo may eventually offer genuine leather, the current materials are worthy of their luxury designation. That said, the EX90's minimalist design sometimes goes too far. There are no headliner-mounted grab handles near the glass roof, and the driver's door only features two window switches. A toggle is required to control the rear windows. Additionally, most functions are controlled via the 14.5-inch infotainment touchscreen, a surprising choice for a brand like Volvo that prioritizes safety. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard, although integrated Google Apps can handle features such as music or navigation with on-route charge planning. Over-the-air update capability promises future software enhancements. Some updates are already planned, and some are still needed before the vehicle is ready for customers, as we found during our time driving the EX90. Driving Volvo's new flagship. As its doors latch shut, the 2025 Volvo EX90 envelopes its occupants in deep quietude. 
Volvo says this is its quietest vehicle ever. Aside from slight whooshing around the side mirrors and a satisfying motor hum, there's hardly any noise inside once the new EX90 is underway. That hushed ambience contributes to the overall relaxed sensation of driving the EX90. This SUV aims to impart calm rather than excitement. Power and torque are readily available and shove the vehicle forward adeptly but are delivered gently off the line and from a roll. Even with the performance model's eponymous full-strength driving mode activated, the sharpness tuned into other EVs and Volvo's earlier electric efforts is placatingly absent. Our drive route encompassed busy highways and mountain passes, which showed the EX90's inclination toward cruising rather than cutting up a twisty road. In urban driving, the EX90 is an airy haven, its effortless vibe aided by the soft steering and easy regenerative braking brought on by lifting off the accelerator pedal. For this driving experience, Volvo provided 2025 EX90 models equipped in Ultra Trim, a higher specification above the Base Plus. Crucially, the EX90 Ultra rides on air suspension rather than steel springs like the EX90 Plus. Additionally, our vehicle rolled on optional 22-inch wheels and European market summer tires, a combination that makes it challenging to say definitively what the EX90's ride quality is like. So equipped, however, the SUV's body motions had the plush and smoothly controlled glide intrinsic to air suspensions, although the standard 20 or 21-inch wheels might have better dissipated rough pavement textures. Bring on the OTAs! Family drivers eyeing the 2025 Volvo EX90 will find ample spaciousness and comfortable ergonomics in the first and second rows, but should take a close look at the small third row to make sure it's sufficient even for the kids they might hope to accommodate. Regardless, the EX90's hardware enjoys high quality from its American assembly. Software, however, still needs polishing. Two identical bugs occurred in two different vehicles we drove. One bug beeped that our second-row passengers had their seatbelts unbuckled. Indeed, the belts weren't buckled, because no one was sitting in the back seats. More irksome was the phone as key feature spotty functionality. Volvo provided us with iPhones linked to each vehicle. Setting the device on the wireless charging pad should power on the EX90. A few times it left us unable to select drive until the phone and vehicle eventually decided to recognize each other. Volvo's product team seemed concerned and promised attention when we mentioned these glitches to it. Safety is paramount for Volvo, but some of the EX90's most desirable driver assist tech isn't ready yet. Those are the ones enabled by its LiDAR array, engineered by Luminar, which is housed inside the hump above the windshield and will help enable hands-free unsupervised driving capability in the EX90.